Hey guys, this is the new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install PeerBlock on a Windows based computer. Basically, PeerBlock is a program that protects your online privacy. So, when you download files or visit certain websites, or people might be able to gather information about you, say, the region where you're from, maybe personal information. But the main purpose of PeerBlock is to protect you from downloading maybe pirate illegal files, use ones, definitely in that area. So basically, if you want to get, right, let's, let's get the PeerBlock. We're going to go to Google. We're going to search for the Press the download section. We'll use this one. And here we go. This is the revision that we need. This is the, f the one that's quite important. We'll double click that. Run that. It's 2 meg, which is nothing. Some downloads are quite old and have problems. Open and filter and package driver. This does not. This runs 100%. Desktop lightning. Right now we're installing it and it's installed. Click next. We're looking to block all these government information. I'd allow HTTP because most websites are HTTP. If you block it, you won't be able to go on certain websites on the internet. So if you, if you want to block it, fine, but unblock it when you're visiting certain sites. For this, I'm going to keep it unblocked. Okay. Search for updates every day. Now it's updating. We're blocking zero IPs this time, which is, ooh, that's not good. You don't want to be doing that, believe me. Basically, it should fix itself up now once it's patched with this, these updates. And it should be running. it is up. <sighs> Nearly there. Come on, come on, come on. Close this. Track and block on information should appear now. Here we go. This is obviously a beta release, so it's probably not the most stable of releases, but it's up to date and it's blocking all IPs that it can. You can view your history of whatever's getting blocked and the date. You can check for updates if you wish, which I'm going to abort for this case, and then basically minimize it and do what you like, use torrents, anything. Alright, thanks for watching and see you again.